In this video, I'm going to be talking about the differences between the Oculus Quest 1 and the Oculus Quest 2, and whether or not those of you that have an Oculus Quest 1 already should upgrade to an Oculus Quest 2. Find out in this video. Welcome back. Remember, if you enjoy VR content and simulators, click that like button, subscribe and bang the bell. So straight to the point here. If you've got a Quest 1, should you upgrade it to a Quest 2? The answer, possibly. <laughs> possibly and possibly not. I know that's awkward and annoying, but I'll explain why. So ultimately, the Quest 1, uh, absolutely fantastic and very similar to the Quest 2. The best way to kind of think of it is that the Quest 2 is like a PS4 Pro or an upgraded Xbox. It's effectively the same device as the Quest 1 in terms of functionality and utility, though you basically get a higher resolution screen, uh, a brighter screen, faster performance from the processor on it, so the games actually do look better and the Quest 2 optimized games look better. Um, and personally, I actually find it more comfortable. Defi d despite these straps seeming like it'd be stupid, I actually find this more comfortable to use and wear than the Quest 1. But, of course, if you're used to the Quest 1, then you're used to it and presumably the games you've been using, you're, you're happy with, otherwise you wouldn't have been using it in the first place. Um, and the jumping quality that you get from this isn't absolutely mind-blowing you know when you're playing Beat Saber and the type of games that you play on the Quest headsets you're more immersed in the gameplay rather than the raw graphical fidelity and um, also you do have the downside with the Quest 2 that the screen is though brighter and higher resolution there's literally no screen door on this or maybe if you squint there's a bit of screen door uh, despite that the Quest 1 actually beats the Quest 2 in terms of contrast. So if you particularly like horror games um, or stuff that's just dark, or maybe in some cases if you're watching films on it potentially, you might actually prefer the Quest 1 screens to the Quest 2 screens. So that sort of answers the upgrade question. It's, a, it's very much a maybe upgrade from the Quest 1 to the Quest 2. Maybe if you can eBay the Quest 1 and get your money back and then go to the Quest 2. Maybe if you could try one beforehand to see if the contrasting would annoy you and uh, the other sort of subtle aspects of the headset would annoy you, then maybe you'd like to upgrade. But if you've got a Quest 1 and you're happy with it, don't feel like you have to get a Quest 2 is really what I'm saying. Now, in and of itself though, um, the Quest 2 is absolutely bloody amazing <laughs> i have to say um i'm really surprised by how good of a device it is now i was replaced uh, i was impressed with the quest one but the the quest two just just it's such a good consumer electronic device you get it out of the box it, it takes literally 30 minutes to set it up now that might not seem crazy but if you've gone through the sort of dk1 <laughs> virtuality dk1 dk2 or, you know, Vive, VR, beta software, everything, you know, if you've gone through all that and you have something that comes in the post, in a box, take it out 30 minutes later, you're playing your VR games and everything's basically just running really smooth and seamlessly, that is pretty damn amazing. Um, also, the actual setup process is quite enjoyable, uh, the way that you set up the room, scale and everything, it, it just, it's just nice, it's a cool sort of VR thing. And if you've never done VR, this, this will absolutely blow your nipples off. Um, and I would say, um, the, the strap on this is surprisingly good. I mean, a, a lot of people have been giving this um, criticism for the strap, saying, oh, you know, it's crap compared to, to this. But for me and my bold light bulb-like head, I've actually found the strap on the Quest 2 to be much better than the original Quest uh, head strap. Now, the strap is definitely worse than the uh, Valve Index <laughs> head, head strap, obviously. Uh, you, you just don't get the same kind of comfort from it. This really does sort of push the headset onto your, onto your face and it's kind of stuck there a bit. But when you consider the type of device that this is, and for me, these, these Quest headsets are the sort of, I keep them in the sitting room, I chuck them in my bag 
I might take them somewhere to do VR with friends, you know, it's, it's kind of, I'm going to do a 30 minute VR session type device. That works and you just adjust these two these back straps to tighten it up and loosen it that's nice and easy to do it's, it's just very compact and works perfectly fine and then another thing a lot of people are crit critical of is the ipd setting on it now it is kind of limited compared to the original quest you can't adjust it as much um you basically just click the eyes in or out um and if you do run it on the wider setting for the IPD, you will notice when you look ahead, you get that kind of blinder thing. But on all the IPD settings, it you know the image looks perfectly fine, perfectly usable VR. And uh, you do, because the way it cuts the screen, you do actually get uh, more IPD accommodation with this than I'd imagine you'd get with the Rift S. Um, so it's just, a, it is an absolutely, for, for 299, absolutely fantastic fantastic device um lastly on the sort of comfort and design of it um, i much more prefer the plastic of this uh, it doesn't seem to get gunked up <laughs> if you happen to be eating chocolate biscuits and then touch of your headset much easier to clean um, it kind of feels a bit cooler also feels lighter and then also the facial interface foam uh very similar to the quest the, the original quest but uh, in my opinion, feels a little bit more like a sort of, uh, more like race helmet kind of foam. And I found it to be more comfortable. Um, also, this for some reason seems to be cooler when you're doing like boxing VR and more active VR games. It seems to take longer to warm up. So for me, with the way that I use the Quest 1 and the, the Quest 2 headset, uh, that's, that's a massive improvement. Um, so yeah, you know, this is definitely the, if, as long as you're happy with the whole Facebook account situation and it being a Facebook device, it's definitely the go-to VR headset for new VR users. And um, I, I would go so far as to say, is if you say the Quest 1 is on eBay for like 199 or 150, it's probably worth spending that extra money and just getting, just going straight for the Quest 2. Um, I hopefully will get the other strap to test out with this headset as well because um, that will be interesting to then compare the head strap with the more premium PC VR headsets for, for comfort with a, with a better strap but I actually, I, as I say, I find this strap that's on this pretty decent and pretty comfortable. So, yeah, ultimately, as I say, it's kind of like a PlayStation Pro Xbox One S type situation when it comes to the Quest 1 versus the Quest 2. The Quest 2 in many ways is a better headset, not in all ways. It's debatable whether or not you should upgrade to it, but if you're just getting new into VR, it's, the, it's obviously the way to go. And I, I think it's absolutely fantastic. So hopefully this video was useful and informative for you guys. If it was, and you want more of this kind of content, let me know in the comment section. But uh, also, if you're buying any of these on Amazon, then uh, feel free to use my Amazon affiliate link in the description because uh, that helps support the channel. But uh, until the next one, guys, happy tea drinking, happy VR gaming, and goodbye.